Hi guys and welcome to another Let's Play. Um, as you can see I've not done too much to the nursery. Um, I've put this crib over here and I've just added two cribs over in this corner. One's got a little koala, one's got a little panda. <laughs> and babies are all sleeping. The only thing I did kind of gameplay wise that you didn't see was just fed them all because they were all hungry. But they're all pretty good now, so we can leave them to it. Um, Hector, you actually need to pee, so you might want to do that. Let's see how Sally's doing. Sally went and got herself something to eat, so she needed to do that. So let's have her tend her garden, get rid of any dead plants. She should have time to do that. Um, I will try and get them out as much as possible um, but obviously with the babies it's going to be a little more difficult oh Hector what what broke nothing tell you what let's leave Stelly at home with the kids and let's take Hector to the castle just so you guys can see it and we get a chance to get out of the house let's just check that he's Yep, he's meeting new friends. He met a friend as well, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Um, yeah, you can open all that. Don't worry about that, Hector. Hector actually needs a shower and he's going to start melting as well, so hopefully he get to the castle quickly. Why are you taking the cab? Where's the car? Whoa! Why is he in a limo? A luxurious interior and a built-in juice bar. This is one suit right he won't forget. Why did he get into a limo? I've never seen... I've seen them get into limo to go to work, but... Just to go somewhere. And a cab had pulled outside the house, right? So, here we go. Oh, there we go. He gets dropped off there and he has to walk up to this path. But that works. So he can get there. That's good. Um... So in he goes, this is the castle, this is the, obviously the drawbridge. Excuse my loading. Okay, so I guess that counts as he's in the, in the place. So let's go here, get you out the sun, and let's have a little look around. There's, yes I know, we're getting out the sun. Who is this? tutoring. Uh, let's just say hi to this crazy jester person. I don't know what he's doing here. Maybe he's just visiting. This is open to visitors now. Um, so it's all kind of loady loading at the moment. But it's just an awesome place. This is like a office space. Let's turn all the lights on. There we go, so we can see. I mean, it is a castle, so it is dark. It's got a piano you can play on. This is the kitchen. Oh, we're not allowed cookers, apparently. That's what's missing. Okay. And it has a huge dining room, but obviously they can't actually eat because they're not allowed to cook. Oh, it's going on the piano. You just grasp the basics of piano, that's quick. Oops. And upstairs. This is cool. This has like a, a little balcony overlooking the... Man, he's stuffing up through the piano space. Look at that. Um, what else? So it's got bedrooms, a little bar. There you go. So you can get himself a drink here. Make he's zipping up through. It's not even night time. Crazy. Okay. Um... Is it because he's a virtuoso as well, is he? Yeah, that helps. Um, so he's actually in like the library area, my bedroom's there. Up here, there's just more rooms, common rooms, nice big bathrooms. 
And then I think there's one more floor which would be like the master bedroom, which has a huge like toilet bathroom thing, and it's own room up here. There we go. So let's leave Hector there for a little while. And Sally needs to look after the baby. Who's crying? So let's move that, that one. So snuggle her. Him, sorry, him. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. Play with him. Uh, one more snuggle and then get him back in the crib. And then we're actually going to do the same with both of these guys because they're just going to start crying anyway. So. Snuggle, bottle, play with, snuggle. And then I can't do any more. So put him back in the crib. Yeah, taking care of babies, <coughs> excuse me, is tedious. Um, I like doing it. I like having like the routine and just going through it. But I appreciate that it's pretty boring to watch. So I'm just gonna queue these up. Dirty diapers to change as well. Change that gift bottle, spray, snuggle. And we're gonna have to change your dirty diaper. And then we're gonna have to change your dirty diaper. So you do that, I'm check you've actually looked after your garden here. Yep, that all looks good. Is that still broken? I thought Hector fixed it. Did I not tell Hector to fix this? Oh no, this is the other one. Ugh. Well, we'll let Hector get to the end and then he can come home and fix that. Um, where? Oh, he's home already. I was going to say, where is Damien? Do your homework, child. Someone asked about um, changing Damien back to normal. And I had a look into it, and it can be done at the science place for 3,000 simoleons. But, I don't know, maybe I can't do it while he's a child. Um, but what do people think about about that? Would they prefer to see Damien as a a normal sim, or would they like to leave him as he is? From what I could see out of um, when the babies came out of the hospital, two of them were vampires and one wasn't. I think Alex and Joseph are vampires and maybe James isn't. It's kind of hard to tell at this stage, but I didn't see the message for the last baby pop up that he turned into a vampire so there is apparently a 50-50 chance when I've had vampire normal pairings in other games um, I think all the kids end up being vampires but um, yeah I can see how it would be a 50-50 chance but I just don't know it's actually really hard to tell wow he did his homework really quick See, vampires are good to have. They get their skills quickly. And, you know, they have other things. Never did go fishing, did you? Oh, yeah, and I added um, extra chairs for the babies. So they've got one each to be fed in when they're older. Hey, do I think, can you feed a baby in a chair? No. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, Hector, bless him, is still sleeping away. Um, on the piano, so we'll let him come home. He can jump in the shower, and then he can fix this before he goes to bed. Fix that, and then go to sleep. Babies are all good. Sally, read him a bedtime story. Because I haven't really done this in the 
Milevini Azo Tanet. I don't know why I couldn't do it for him when he was a toddler. That was quite annoying because I wanted to get his teeth. Oh, that was a loads of truth. <laughs> you want to read him the logic book? Uh, well, let's have to give him, give him that one. <laughs> let's just get it off the shelf, you can see, maybe. Sounds like Hector's home. He's, why are you going into that bed? That's not your bed. That is not your bed. <sighs> well, great. You know, I'm going to have to move you out of there after you've fallen asleep from the story. Charm. Delupa Vigu. Yarp. It's cute, though, you know. Or La Chanda V. Wazzleman. Tusa. Sally, can't you turn that off? So Sally's back in her normal outfit, by the way, that we picked for her. So, I don't know what we're on before. Yep, so you're going to fix that extra. You want to earn $25 from Kyoto to earn $25 from Kyoto. And learning your composition. Yeah. Why is that going down so much? Should we spend money or something? Yep. <laughs> okay guys, I've got a couple minutes left. Um, just trying to check on what are you doing? You're going to sleep in his bed. Oh, this is his little lava lamp on. I don't know if anyone's seen this before. But this is cool. Okay, so yes, then you can't sleep with that tonight. <laughs> no. How's he doing? Yeah, we need to send him on a raid because he's running out of plasma juice and Sally's not high enough yet. Okay, there. Why are you carrying around with books? And it's fixed. Oh, accidentally hit his thumb with a hammer. Well, his logic went up, so that's good. Let's go. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, let's put those away. Where's the car? You're carrying it around, Sally. Yes, you are. Don't carry the car around. Right, the way. And let's put this stuff away. And I've got loads of grapes. I want to throw a birthday party for James. He's only just been born. Oh, okay. They actually look really like it's quite eerie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Babies. Oh, they're okay. Oh, no. He's awake. Where is it? I'm trying to start crying in a minute. Um. Yeah. Sorry, Sally, that's going to be your job when he starts crying. Why can you not read a son, your son his story in his own room? Why are there creepy parts of lady hanging around that Oh, there we go. I'm going to cry. Sorry, Sally. Welcome to the world of the trip next. Oh, and they're all going to start. And that's my time up, guys. So, 
I will see you next time. Sorry, not a lot happened. Bye.